Do you want to go from shooting videos as a hobby to a full-time career? Well, here are 7 steps you must do if you want to shoot a professionally shot commercial for a client. So, stay tuned! Step 1 is ask questions. By asking questions, this will allow you to know what the client is visualizing, making it clear for you to execute. Make sure you ask the right questions so you meet the client's expectations and you don't miss any important details. Sometimes clients have ideas and details but think it's not important or they just end up forgetting. So it's your job to get those details out of them so you can make the client happy. Here are the list of questions I always ask my clients. You can pause it, screenshot it, and save it so that way when you're on your next discovery call, you could be ready to ask these questions to the client. Step two is marketing. Make sure you have a strategic plan so you can pitch to potential clients. Cause there are so many filmmakers out there that create great videos, but they don't know much about getting them an ROI. They just offer a high quality video with no strategic marketing plan. When you're a freelance filmmaker, don't just think like an artist and make great looking videos. Think like an entrepreneur. How can I help this client generate revenue with my marketing strategy? That's the thought process you should be doing when working with clients. Clients don't care about making the best looking video. They care about the results that you can bring them. If you do a good job on doubling their income, you're making it so much easier for them to officially hire you as their marketer. Notice how I said marketer and not filmmaker. Cause filmmakers should offer more than just a video. They should offer results. Step three is pre-plan. At this point, you should have a visualization and how you want the final video to look. Once you have that locked in, it's time for you to create a shot list. This will allow you to be prepared on set and make sure you get all those shots needed to tell the story. Next is location and designing the set. The great thing about product commercials is that you can build your own set in your own bedroom. Do some research on the business, go to their website and social media accounts to see their style. What colors are they using? What do you feel when you go to their page? What does the brand stand for? And what lighting do they use for their products? All of these concepts you should be taking into consideration when creating a commercial. Step four is production. This is on set. You're not ready to begin shooting. There are a couple of things to consider. First, dial in the lighting. Make sure the lighting is 80% complete. The reason why I say 80% is, you know, we can spend so much time perfecting the lighting and it's just a big waste of time. Make it look decent so you can focus on perfecting the actual video itself. Then check on audio and camera check. Make sure they're fully charged and they're recording when you say action. Next, check on the talent. If it's a commercial that requires people to be in it, ask them how they feel. If they're ready, do they need some more time to practice their lines or if they're like relaxed and they don't feel intimidated with all these cameras and lights pointing at them. And last but not least, step Five is editing. So you've completed all the steps from pre-production, production, and now post-production. Most filmmakers say this is where the magic happens. And in reality, it's true. This is where you piece the puzzles together and complete a work of art. Your job as a filmmaker is to sell the product with emotion. How does the video make the consumer feel? Is it motivated, inspiring, emotional, excited, happy, or curious? The best way to sell the product is how they feel when they get that particular product. And we as filmmakers can accomplish that with music and the flow of the video. Choosing the right music is a must. I sometimes spend more time finding the song than the actual editing process. Like, yeah, that is 100% true. Like I mentioned, audio is half of the viewing experience. We watch while we listen. So spend some time on that aspect. Once you got a good flowing video, it's time for a call to action. What do you want the viewer to do after the video ends? Well, there are two things that you want them to do you either want them to buy or get their information. Most of the time, their email. Once you get their email, you can begin email marketing. You can send them campaigns, newsletters, and deals so they can eventually buy the product. So at the end of the day, you're not just a filmmaker, you're an entrepreneur providing services that can generate more revenue for these clients. If you want to learn more on this topic, you can check out Filmmaker Pro. It's an in-depth course where I walk you through step-by-step -step on how to pursue filmmaking as a full-time career. 
Link will be in the top of the description down below. Speaking of commercials, I shot a video reacting to my first commercial and my 50th commercial. You can click right here to check it out. Well, that is pretty much it. I'm out.